Hi everyone. What I'm going to do now is what I promised to do last night and didn't get round to doing, and that is I'm going to make one of these. Um, this is a journal, it's just a plain journal, and I'm going to do the front cover in the shabby chic style. Um, well, as near as I can get it. So, what I'm going to do first is use the um, eco friendly acrylic paint, and this is the rose colour. <coughs> so, I'm going to have a white on top and just the uh, pink showing through. Hopefully, if it works, we shall see. And it's just covering the. Ho oh, sorry, I forgot to do something. We get a piece of paper. Just in case you uh, spill it or anything. Like that. <laughs> A nice, kind of a, like a thickish coat on it because you're going to dry this. And to save it dripping down the holes, thin it out best you can on your brush and then just do that. The wires you can clean up, no problem. If you put too much paint on, you're going to end up with it everywhere. Right. Scrape some down into the corner. And these are so easy to do. Really, really easy. Scraping it off. Like that. Really blending it in and coating the whole cover. You feel it slightly thick underneath. Just brush it in. Brush it that way. And it just evens it all out. And then blend it back that way. And it will even it all out. What I'm going to do with that is to dry it using the heat gun. Now I've done that, what I'm going to be doing next is putting the crackle medium on. Now a lot of people ask me about the crackle medium. If you do too thin a layer, you'll get very tiny, tiny cracks in it. You need to do it, either do two coats of the thin, or and dry each one, or do... Um, one cup pretty thick. I generally do one cup pretty thick. So, um, I've now got my uh, crackle medium here, and don't worry, put it in a container to put it on with, you know, to use, and then that way you can just pop it back in the bottle. Now, I'm not that bothered about in between the wires because my lace is going to be covering that bit and just give it a really good coat over the book itself see it's quite thick it just looks like water's on top when you've got that then uh, you're more or less going to gain a really good crackle Right, what I've done is I've let that sit a little bit. And as you can see, <coughs> just see if I can lift it up. It's like, just like the water over the top. That's a really good thick layer. Now you're going to part dry that. Well, not quite almost dry it. Just dry it into the book. It doesn't take long. I have some white um, acrylic paint that I've got left. I don't know. I sealed it up, but it might not be any good. Um, I didn't. Oh, I couldn't get it back in the tube, to be honest. So, just see, I think, I think I can use it. Where did I put my brush? Here we go. Now, yes, it's fine, is that? 
Just coat the brush. Can you see what time we're on? Oh, a few seconds. Just coat the brush front and back. And all you need to do is brush it like that really quickly. Like that. And you and then up and down like that. I generally try and keep it going one way. I say you need to do a really good coat of the um, white one. Now, <coughs> it started to crack, but it didn't crack how I wanted it to do it. So what I've done, I've, re I've reversed it again. I dried the white coat that I did, and then I went over it with the um, <coughs> crackle paint, and then uh, crackle medium, and then what I've done is I've gone over it with the pink again, and now it's cracking. So um, sometimes it's just trial and error with it. I did want the pink on the under underneath and the white on top, but I'm not bothered. Either it'll do me, but as you can see, it's uh, cracking properly now. Well, it should be fine to work with. Just let that cool down. Now, while that's cooling down, I just want to show you this. Remember the watches I had? Well, I actually took some more apart last night. Oh, I've, I've covered them. But you can see, lots and lots of watch parts. That was um, four watches in there now. Or three. Four, I think it was. I've got a couple more to do in there. The watch faces and that are in there. These are just the inside, and I just took them apart. So much easier. And cheaper. So, um, just wait for that to cool. It's still quite warm. Oh, I might as well sit and do my nails. <laughs> I'm starting to grow my nails again, but oh, won't be long before the break. They never last long. Really, get them nice and long and manicured, and then what happens? <coughs> they break. Right, what I've done now is, <coughs> sorry, um, is to put the tassels on. And just to show you like that, just the beady tassel. Um, I might put another one on. Um, let me just see. Because it's not got enough tassels for me. Right, what I've uh, done is put a double row of uh, tassels on because it didn't seem to have much on for me. Like that. And that's much better. I've got plenty of tassel that I want to have. Oh, that's strange. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the next piece on, and the next piece is um, the end. And what I've chosen is this. It's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous material, uh, lace. I'm just doing it so it's slightly hanging over the edge of the page, like that. So what I'm going to do is peel that back. You do have to be careful because you don't want to burn yourself. And that is quite easily done. And just wait till it starts to cool down and press firmly on there. And I'm doing it onto the material and not onto the book so that I can manoeuvre the, the lace where I want it, basically. If it's on the book, you're stuck if uh, you want to move the lace. Like that. And I can move this into position when I want it. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I think you can. <laughs> it is difficult working in a small space. And thanks again everybody that's bought the kits today and yesterday. Um, <coughs> uh, I have managed to sell them quite well and uh, I'm thrilled at that. 
and the what the last ones up for the this weekend. But I will be doing some during the week. Um, I'm gonna look through what I've got because I've got some stuff left from the shop from the old. Um, what do I call it? On the other shop, the other shop I had open, the other site. Just cut that bit off. And there you go. Really pretty, that. Now, on this side of the book, I'm going to sit this on, but I can never work out. I think that's, yeah. Um, and I'm going to move this up to the top, because this side's going to have flowers on it. But I want it overlapping uh, the wire, like that. Okay? So, for this one, I'm just going to turn that back. And I'm only doing half the flowers that's all I'm going to be doing position that where I want it make sure it's over what there like that right what I've done now sorry about that but the film is uh, it, camera's driving me nuts Glenda's with us hi Glenda hi everybody she's still coughing like mad but she's fine aren't you feeling a little bit better aren't you well, yeah every day's better yeah Anyway, so what I'm doing, I've uh, finished gluing that bit on, and like I say, I've overlapped it over the wire. All this paint will just wipe off. It's only um, water paint, water-based paint. Now, what I'm going to do is, I was going to put this on here, and then I've changed my mind. I'm going to have a double layer on there. So I'm just gluing the top of this again. I'm fixing that into position like that yeah I like it with the double layer I think it looks prettier more shabby chic yeah. I was just explaining about when you put in lace on like this type of lace if I glued the book once I put the lace on it would be hard to move but if you glue the lace you can manoeuvre it You've got a few seconds to manoeuvre it. Right. Don't know if you knew that lady. Oh, see, not like I've just done. Because the, the book is far colder than the lace, so it dries the glue quicker. That's why you put it on the lace first. Oh, it looks really pretty with this double thingy. I do like that, dear. Very much so. There we go. I'm going to do the fan. Instead of from that way, I'm going to do it that way today. Because I like that, I don't want to spoil all that. See? I'm saying I'm going to do it. Whether it'll work or not is a different thing. Now, I've been asked several times about how I do the fan. And it's simple. You run um, a stocking stitch along that edge. I'm going to do that first. Thank God my needle... See, the state of my needle is bent. I've got a bent needle. Yeah. There's, a, there's one particular needle that's bent, and it's the only one that I like using. Not because it's bent like. Right, so just gather. Um, just do gather. Do a little stitch there in that end. And because it's already got scalloped, all I do is one stitch in one, out the other. My fingers are glued up to the eyeballs. Just 
Just like that. What am I on? A chair. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm on a chair, Glenda says. You goose. And then all you do is pull that really tight and then stick a couple of stitches at the end. And pull them pretty tight. Do one more for safety. Chop that off. And there's your look. <laughs> I've got something for my hair. <laughs> it's like a like a blooming hair net. Right. This looks a bit darker. Yeah. All I'm gonna do now is run a little bit of glue down the left hand side and turn it over and glue that along the edge. Like that. Quickly, like that. Make sure that'll lift up, yeah. Blooming glue. I normally like, uh, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five gathers. So what you need to do now is where it's creased, and I use these as my guide, is to pucker that up, flip that over, so I've got that where I want it, and just run the glue gun up the middle of that. Oops, you've got to pucker it up. Bring it into position. Like that. And then pucker that up again. Keep holding it, lady. Give it the crease that it needs. Oops, sorry about that. So there you're getting your creases there. Glue stick. Might have blooming known me. Mm. Now what I can do is I need to get this one on. I will do it like that. And just pop that on as straight as you can. Like that. You can tidy the end up later. Turn that back round. Now I've got two here to do like that. I'm just going to pull that one off again and move it over. Like that. Do it that way. A bit better. Pull that up. And see where it's going to go. Like that. And that needs to fit in there. So now I've got the fan on. What I've done then is the very ends, just the last inch, then I glue them down. Oh, sorry, I haven't done that one. I just glue them down like that. Oops, I need to pull that in a bit. So that's all level at the bottom. And then you glue the end down here. And that's fine like that. So next thing I'm going to do is, oh this blooming ah, glue thread it's hanging everywhere. I know but it drives me insane. Why have they got such stuff as glue threads? Ah. Right. When you're trying to work though and you, it, you, it, it's like something crawling on me. I hate it. Right, I've got a selection of flowers um, and what I'm going to do is just strip these leaves off here. I don't want them stuck out. And then I'm going to cut them in half and just have them like that, I think. Yes, I do want some natural uh, looking leaves on it. Do that like that. Cross 
them up like that. And then, oh, now let me see. Right, what I'm going to have to do is colour this large rose. So I'm just going to shift that out of the way. And I'm going to hand paint that one, I think. Do you know what I think I might do? Paint it using the same paint I've used for the background. Different. I'll be back when I've finished. Sorry about that, but I have been trying to <laughs> um, sort this out. Uh, the camera keeps going dead for some reason. And... Um, so what I've done up to now, I'll show you. I mean, you saw me do the fan. It's just a case then of decorating this. And uh, I've painted the flower the same colour as the background. I stickled it. Added the more real life leaves, uh, life looking, life like leaves. Added some floral bits. I'm just gonna add one more here, I think. I'll take it up around that corner. And um, just think I'll pop one of these on where I've put them. Mm. There they are. Because they are quite pretty little flowers. I did know the name of them. I can't remember. Like that. And just for... Uh, what's it? I'm just going to pop one. I do like the flowers. I'm not sure if we should have one here. Yes, I'm going to have one there as well, I think. And just pop one there. Oh, I'm getting covered in that glitter. Ugh. And then... I'm going to pop one just here. Like that. Just to fill that gap, when it's all dry, I shall take off all of the trimmings. Right, now what I'm going to do is put some pearls on here. Like that. Nice. A couple of big ones here. Pop that on there, in the centre. Hello, are you back, Glenda? Oh, sugar. Could you have landed on its back then? You can Well, we'll see. I had to take the flowers off. I'd done them wrong. There was too... Well, there was too much cerisi pink, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I want to really... It's uh, Jackie's birthday, um the other teacher this week oh I think it's this week or the week I finish so I'm going to give her this as a birthday gift because Caroline loved hers or Caroline should I say oh trust me put one on that's marked whoa don't like that get that back on Right, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to put the book plate on. I've um, got a piece of card here. I've printed out the name. And I'm just going to stick this on. Just put the tape, double sided tape, onto the card and then adding the name onto that. I don't think that's right now. Boom! to test it oops so there's it that'll do <laughs> not messing about with it Shall I take all the crap off it? Not very straight, but it'll do. Oops. 
Or will it? So I, I can't stand it if he's going to muck it. No, I think it'll be all right. Pop it in the middle. Just like that. Press that down. And all I need is a couple of brads just there, I think. Yeah, not bad actually. Which I've got. I don't know. I need two matching, of course. I'm covered in paint. I have those two. Leave that out of the way. Grab this. Pop it on there. That should do. There, take that off. Oops, hang on, I'll show you in a minute, Glenda. Oh, you're not there. Uh, and that's the book finished. That's all I'm doing. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous, it really is. Isn't that pretty? She's going to love that. She's got a stick pin in there as well. Double layer of that. I put a double layer of the trim on the bottom. All I've got to do now is open the page when these have dried and then I'm just going to clean off this. It just peels off, look like that. And then that's uh, done. So I hope you like that. I hope you en uh, you en really not enjoy it. You try it. And go on, give it a go. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. It's really pretty. She's going to love it. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I'm going to take a still picture of it so you can see at the end. Bye. Say bye, Glenda. Bye, everybody.